Hello everybody, hope you're doing great and I'm fine, thank you for asking. So, our new lesson, our today's new lesson, kangaroos are found in Australia. Uh, it seems as a normal sentence. A lot of dresses are made in Paris. As you look at the pictures. So, what do you think about these two sentences? What seems a bit uh, strange or maybe unknown in these sentences? Excellent! The new grammar is about the passive. The passive voice as present simple. What is the passive voice? A passive voice is a type of a clause or sentence in which an action or an object of a sentence is emphasized rather than its subject. What does it mean? Subject as I, he, she, it, you, we, they plus be such as am, is, are, plus past participle. It means the third part of the verb. So, we have two kind of sentences, or recall a voice in this part. Two types of voices, uh, such as active voice uh, and passive voice. So, look at this picture. In active voice, the focus is on the person doing the action or a task. But in passive voice, focus is on the action or task, but not the person. Example. The professor teaches the student. It's a simple active form of a sentence. What about passive form? The, the students are taught by the professor. So these two sentences show the difference between active and passive form. So if you look at your book, Family Friends 5, page 108, part 2, the passive uh, present simple. We can use the passive when we don't know the subject of the sentence. It means that who does an action. Present simple passive is uh, equals, I mean, is or be there plus past participle. You are taken to a different time. And also, don't forget... You can use the present simple passive to talk about things that are generally true. English is spoken in many different countries. If you look at part 3, write A as an active or P as passive. Computers are used all over the world, so it's obvious that the answer is passive form. The film starts at 8 o'clock. What do you think? It's, is it uh, active or passive? Very good. Active. So we have to write A as an active form. What about next one? A lot of ancient things are kept in museums. What about this one? What do you think? Perfect. Because of are kept, this sentence is passive form. And let's go to the uh, first part. Listen and read uh, page 108. So, are you ready uh, to listen to... No, 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 no. Where is it? Uh-huh. So, let's listen. Listen and read. Does the time machine work? Chip! I've done! 
done it. I've invented a time machine. Wow! Well done, Professor. The date you want to travel to is shown on this screen. When this button is pressed, the doors are closed and you are taken to a different time. I'm going to test the machine now. Okay, Professor. If you look at this page, page 108, you can find so many passive form sentences. Can you highlight some of these sentences for me? I would be happy to see if you highlight the new form of uh, passive sentences in this part. And don't forget to answer the rest of the questions 246 and I would be happy if we can talk about the speaking part uh, page 108 part 4 please ask me any question any problem if uh, you have thank you everybody take care bye bye